Co Cat. <laughs> Sir, you frightened me. Apologies, my dear. Is everything ready for our guests to arrive? Of course. The cook is almost finished preparing the meal and all the arrangements have been made. Excellent. I'm certain this evening shall exceed all of our expectations. Ah, that must be the first of our guests. The game is afoot. Turn that radio off and let's begin. Welcome and do come in. I am Toddsworth, the butler. You must be Mrs. Thrasher. What? Oh, right. The fake name I'm supposed to use. Well, don't just stand there, butler. Take my coat and show me in. Of course, ma'am. Right this way. There is a warm fire and refreshments in the lounge. What kind of a butler are you, anyway? Every butler I've ever met was English. You sound like a hick. I attended Backwoods Butlery. A wonderful agency that brings some civility to this slice of the world. Hmm? Oh, I lost interest when you started speaking. We can return to your apathy later, ma'am. Another guest has arrived. Please follow Coquette to the lounge. Good evening. I am Toddsworth, the butler. And you must be Miss Whitespring. Yes, I suppose I am. Please. Let the maid, Coquette, show you to the lounge. <laughs> Judging by that look, I take it you two know each other? I've never met this woman in my life. Ah, excellent. <laughs> Professor Pumpkin and Miss Scorched. I presume, of course. I wasn't aware you two were acquainted. We're not. My vehicle broke down on the way here, and the professor offered to give me a ride. She is quite intellectually stimulating. Keep your intellect to yourself there, Buster. If you'll follow Coquette here to the lounge, there will be refreshments while we await our last two guests. Coquette herself is quite refreshing. <laughs> Ugh. Good evening. I am Toddsworth. You must be Colonel Marsupial. What? Oh no, that's not my name. I'm Colonel. Sir, I do believe your invitation requested you use the pseudonym provided. Please, do come in from the rain. Oh yes, uh, of course. I knew that. I have every confidence you did, sir. Please. Follow the maid to the lounge. Right this way, Colonel. Yes, ma'am. Uh, excuse me. Is this... Say it! <laughs> <sighs> Not you, sir. Please do come in. I am Toddsworth, and you must be Mr. Gulper. Um, yes. Yes, that's me. I'm Mr. Gulper. Of course. Do follow the maid, sir. I must see to the radio. This is an outrage. We agree. What is this all about? You owe us an explanation. Things would be more interesting if we knew why we were all here. Spill it, you bumpkin butler! Ladies and gentlemen, do calm down. I will explain. You've all received a letter asking you to be here tonight. Likewise, y'all received this letter because you were each being blackmailed. By your employer, I reckon, Mr. I.B. Dead Guy? 
actually, it's pronounced deji, but correct. You're all being blackmailed for various misdeeds. Colonel, you enjoy the company of illicitly provided companions, for example. Some people just get lonely. The brothel, of course, run by our dear Miss Scorched. <laughs> A girl's gotta make her way in this world. Uh, disgusting. Miss Whitespring, your tale involves the disappearance and assumed murder of your last wife, does it not? She was a caravanner. They disappear. Ah, uh, but she disappeared while traveling her normal commute to the caravan office. I didn't say she was a good caravanner. Intriguing implications. Professor Pumpkin, you lost your tenure and position at the university for experimenting on cadavers and AI, didn't you? Our research could elevate mankind. Those fools could not see it. That's disgusting. You're all disgusting. Do you proclaim innocence, Mrs. Thrasher? Have you not been lobbying for the cannibals in Congress coalition? Lobbying in politics is not a crime. And when that lobbying includes bribes and threats of murder and cannibalism for resisting? Well, I... you... And that leaves Mr. Gulper. Who? You don't have to say it's Toddsworth. Mr. Gulper, who is a robosexual. Gross. Actually, you're being blackmailed for being blacklisted. As a Brotherhood spy, to be exact. Oh. <laughs> right. That. Your host will explain everything once he arrives. Your hoagies. Compliments of Mr. Dead Guy. These aren't sandwiches. These are raviolis. As if you would know the difference. Why, Mrs. Thrasher, do you and the cook know each other? Don't be absurd. I've never seen that bot in my life. Excellent. That must be our host. I will return and we can begin. Say, Gulper, you gonna eat that ravioli? Uh, no, no. You can have it. I don't have much of an appetite, I'm afraid. Miss Scorched, how would you feel about dessert? Darling, I know you are only interested in my body. Just like everyone else. Only in a purely scientific capacity. Such lurid conversation. You people have no tact. I'll tell you who has no tact. That Mr. Dead Guy. It's pronounced Dead Guy. <gasps> Why, you no good, low down, rotten son of a. At a girl scorched. Show that brute. <laughs> yes, yes, I deserve that. But so do all of you. I've been blackmailing all of you for several months now. It's been quite lucrative and fun. But I've decided you're not paying me enough to keep your secrets. What does that mean? It means, Koala for Brains, that he expects more caps from us for his silence. Oh, of course, I knew that. I... More? I'm afraid so. Times are tough, and we all need extra in our lives. Refuse my demand and I'll turn in every bit of evidence I have against you and cut you loose to the authorities. See? I've already called the responders here to help you in your decision. If they arrive and you refused, then you're all arrested. I have enough connections to keep myself clean. You monster! Look at the appetite from the mouth saying that, Mrs. Thrasher. You have the deal. I want twice what you're paying me each month. Unless... Unless what? Toddsworth, the packages. Of course, sir. A broken Nuka-Cola bottle. A length of copper wire? A giddy-up buttercup leg? A machete? A pipe pistol? A mothman lamp? 
you all have been given tools to use with only one common purpose. Murder. Actually, at this point, there has to be a cooking recipe that uses... One purpose! <sighs> Either pay double your current hash-ups, or fix a problem of mine. I want you to kill Mr. Toddsworth. Sir? What's the meaning of this? Toddsworth knows all of your secrets and what I've been getting from you in payments. He's a loose end that needs to be cleaned up. Kill him, and maybe I consider letting you keep paying the amounts you already are. He's... he's lying! I'm just like you! He's blackmailing me, too! No time to hesitate, all. Your decision happens... now. Ah! It's alright. I've got the lights. Everybody sound off! Alive and present. I'm alright, I think. I'm glad I haven't become part of my own body count. Dead guy is dead! It's pronounced dead G. He's been shot. I'd recognize a bullet wound anywhere. Pumpkin has the pipe pistol. He must have shot him when the lights were out. Impossible. The pipe pistol was yanked from our hand when the lights went out. <sighs> Not the greatest excuse. But obviously he doesn't have the pipe pistol and I don't see it anywhere. As it stands, everyone place their weapons on the central table so we know our hands are clean. There. Now if you'll excuse me, this is all making my stomach sour. I need to powder my nose. I wish she wouldn't go off alone. And why is that, Butler? Because one fact is very clear. We're all in this mansion and trapped by that storm. And one of us is a murderer. That was the next room over. Ah! Go cat! Why are you screaming? Because one of you just killed Mr. Dead Guy! Dead G! I don't care. Coquette, what is all of this equipment for, exactly? It was for Mr. Dead Guy. <sighs> Dead G. You know, I bet he doesn't care anymore how we pronounce his name. He's dead. He wanted me to record the conversation. He said it would give him an even bigger edge. That rat. He was going to have us off the butler and then use the evidence to get more caps. Ambitious. Can't say I blame him. <gasps> <gasps> sorry, sorry. Uh, stubbed my toe. Oh. Oh. The, the bot. bot! Cook? Cook! Where is that bucket of bolts? I thought we were looking for a robot. Your mother took a lot of chems while she was carrying you, didn't she? How did you know? There you all are. I was looking all over after those screams. How dare you leave me alone? Ah! It's the cookbot! Or what's left of it! Someone has punctured its CPU with the machete! It's been deactivated! I hate deactivations. Curious. Did Dead Guy have incriminating evidence on the cook as well? It's Dead G. Keep this thing over me. Gulper, here. We'll help, lad. Honestly, Mr. Gulper, do you try to be more careful. Y yes, sure. I'll do just that. Yes, uh, do forgive the start of treatment. We're throwing a Halloween party and I'm afraid we're a bit worked up. It's not even close to Halloween? Well, when the spirit strikes you. Have you been killing people tonight? Uh, I'm sorry? What? Oh, that colonel. 
he takes these party games of ours so very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Right. Anyway, my vehicle is broken down and the bridge is washed out from the storm. And my pit boy said that this was the closest building. Is there any radio I can use? Uh, yeah, the closest transmitter is in the lounge. You can- Ah, uh, uh, that is Mr. Deji's personal transmitter, hmm? But of course, I'll take you to the den and lock you- er, uh, lock in the signal for you. It's very dependable, even with the weather. Uh, thanks? Okay, quickly. While she deals with him, we'll take the weapons accounted for and lock them in the safe. What about the pipe pistol? Can't worry about that right now. We lock the weapons we have away and we watch each other. The responders are already on their way thanks to Mr. Deji. It's pronounced dead guy. Oh, darling. Bless your heart. Okay, he's locked in the den and can't get out. Perfect. Here's our chance. We'll lock away the weapons and get our story straight. Hello? Hello? Yeah, it's me. Well, I'm here at this mansion and, well, the people here are acting really weird. Yeah, yeah, the bridge is washed out. And wouldn't you know it, but I'd swear one of them is... Everything's locked away, so it'll be much harder for the murderer to kill one of us. Except for whoever has that pipe pistol. Hmm. That's still a good point, Butler. Scorched is a butler? <sighs> so what's the master plan now? Someone just has to pill for the key and any one of us can be killed. It's simple. We'll throw the key out into the storm. There's surely no way the killer could find it after that. I don't buy it, and don't call me Shirley. Look, maybe we should just wait for the responders. We're not equipped for this. We agree with Toddsworth. We must avoid incriminating ourselves when the real murderer is discovered. The professor does have a point. There, see? Now let's get this over with and get through this. Damn it! Responders, open up. It's the pigs. What are we gonna do? Grandma used to say they liked a bath with buttermilk and... Colonel, not now. Open up. That's a responder's order. Follow my lead. Good evening, officer. Apologies for the delay. I'm afraid our party got into full swing and... Well... You know how it is when people tend to indulge too quickly. On private property and under supervision, of course. <laughs> <laughs> right, mister. I found an abandoned wagon by the road. Yeah, yeah and then we locked the scam. <laughs> yeah, and then we locked the squirrel on the sticks away for the end of the night treat. We love making puzzles and solving them. Right. Well, I'll just have a look around and and just lounge a bit? <laughs> Be our guest, but... Uh... Lounge. I'll check the lounge first. Maybe call in my report. No, officer, you can't. What she means, officer, is that the lounge is an absolute mess. The colonel got a bit too into the first round of cocktails, and we need to tidy it up. I did? <laughs> yes. If you'll follow me, officer. What? Uh, hey, let me out. Quickly, we need to sort this out. I hate sorting things out. If we have any chance of getting out of this unscathed, we have to look for clues and discover this murderer. Then we can just explain the story to the responder. Go burn White Spring. You search upstairs. Marsupial and Scorched, 
Search downstairs. Pumpkin and Thrasher, search the west wing. Coquette and I will search the east wing. And why should we listen to you? Because what better choice do you have? Now let's go! Ugh. Hello. Hello, Chief? Hi. Yes, it's me. I found an abandoned wagon and checked out this mansion. The people there are acting really weird. Also, I could have sworn I saw... Psst. No! Colonel? Colonel! Oh, where are you? Here I am. Ah! Don't do that! Oh, I'm sorry. But we found this secret passage and now I'm somewhere where I don't know where I am. Oh, you are just too simple for this world. Hey, I think I found another door. Here, help me feel around in the darkness. If you insist. Colonel! Sorry. Oh, forget it. Can't see a thing. Oh, wait. Is that a radio set? We must be in a comms room. Yes, I feel a body. Wait. A, a body? body? Help! Help! Murder! I hear marsupial and scorched. Stand back. I'll get this. Ouch! I told you to stand back. That's fair. Are we forgetting something? The responder! Ah! Cheese it! Hello? Hello? Where is everyone? Oh! Hello! Oh, it's you! What are you doing in here? Wait, what are, what are you doing? Da 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 da! I am. You're singing caps again. Well, there we are. Six murders since supper. And we haven't even had dessert. I hate missing dessert. So do we. Isn't that right, Miss Scorched? Ugh. Six murders. Six! Fortunately, I've deduced what happened. You, you have? have? Of course. Y'all arrived here in turn. Oh, I hate the staff. Oh, I'm emotionless. Oh, I'm cute and he's horny. Oh, I'm dumb. Hey, Pumpkin isn't dumb. He's a professor. Now, Mr. G -G -G Golfer, I'm so scared and clumsy. Then Deji dies. And then the cook dies. We run around all, Rrr! everyone else in the ensemble dies, and we end up here. But why? You know, don't you? That's what I want to know. <gasps> The chief, the chief of, of the responders? responders? Here's how it ended once. You see, Mrs. Thrasher knew the cookbot upon encountering it. She had once employed it until it learned of her political aspirations. It's just a robot. I have business to conduct. I couldn't even eat it after. It's still probably a murder. We're a little iffy on that. So you snuck away during your powder break and killed the robot cook and joined us after backtracking and covering your story. Mrs. Thrasher, you're coming with me. No! It happens like this. What? Pumpkin was already disgraced. He couldn't handle more embarrassment in the world of academia. So he shot Deji and threw the pot pistol away to cast doubt on our suspicions. We... we were going to elevate humanity. We just needed more time. But wait, that isn't what happened. Oh, brother. You see, it was Colonel Marsupial. With his visits to the house of ill repute and good fun, 
he needed discretion. Too bad he used the same scavenger to transport him one too many times. That scavenger found out and... I was just lonely. But it didn't happen like that. Let me guess. It happened like... No! See, the responder was on Miss Scorched payroll. He was tasked with keeping tabs on visitors. Too bad he was having second thoughts. <sighs> Good help is so hard to find. Do what you must, Chief, but know it really... No! Miss White Spring's wife was a caravaner, and a good one. Too bad she fell into a trade deal with Coquette. Harlot, when I caught her with her, it, the plasma, plasma, plasma on the side of my face, breathing, breath, heaving breaths, heaving. Yes, we get the reference. Can we just... But it didn't actually... No! No! So many deaths. So many deaths because of a little fun. Wait, you mean... No. Oh, yes. You see, that singing capsigram girl was ready to negotiate a deal on behalf of any of you. Because I'm... I be dead guy. The real one. And I'm Tad Athand. Enclave Intelligence. You let Toddsworth get shot by Pumpkin in the confusion of the power outage. How did you know? Oh, the real Mr. Gulper came to us from the blackmail the man started. Turns out, I'm the spitting image of him. It was just a matter of infiltrating this little charade and busting you. The real I be dead guy who had the real Toddsworth killed for his own sick enjoyment. To be fair, that was mostly happenstance. <laughs> I had pacifist on. Damn it! Shit! <laughs> that really hurt. Like, really hurt. <laughs> Dad. Dad. <laughs> Come here. Yes? I hate you. <laughs> oh! Now hold up. Who the hell actually did it? All of them. Especially Dead Guy. It's... Deji! <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Now if you excuse me, I'm going home to sleep with my synth. Uh, human. Damn it. Hey guys, it's Chris. Thanks for tuning into our Halloween episode this year. Sorry we didn't have an intro at the start as usual, but we didn't want you to have too much of a clue. <laughs> Our cast is Scald as Mrs. Thrasher, Pandora Beatrix as Miss Whitespring, Chrissy Williams as Miss Scorched, Daniel Hawthorne as Colonel Marsupial, Brad Williams as Professor Pumpkin, XO One King as Mr. Gulper, Maria as Coquette, Austin Rogers as Mr. Dead Guy, Sulior as the Scavenger, DJ Reed as the Responder, Jessica Starr as the Singing Telegram Girl, our very own operative himself, Lawrence McNamara as the Chief of Responders, and of course myself as Toddsworth, the Cookbot, and the voice on the radio. Thank you again for tuning in, and as always, God bless the Enclave. God bless America.